Hey, are you low on coins and need some more? Look no further than InstantMaddenCoins.com. They offer instant deliveries and 24-hour support on all platforms. Use code Ryan at checkout for 10% off. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pack and Play. And take a look at this. 99.8 Solder, 99 Kalechi Osimele, and 97 T.Y. Hilton. Going up against my squad here. Hilltopper 5 is my opponent. And for the next couple of videos... Actually, for every single video after this, there will be a little lineup screen showing you what my lineup is for the episode. Besides just the three cards, I will show my full lineup <clears throat> just to let you guys know what's been going on. You know, what upgrades we've been getting. The last video, we ended up getting ourselves a... Well, one of the last videos, we got ourselves the uh, Marcus Peters cornerback, which has been playing pretty decently right now. And we're going to go ahead and see what he could do against the Eagles here in Hilltopper 5. So... This guy's going deep right away. Couple of plays in. Third down and 19. He gets the first down. Hand off to his running back up the middle. Looks like Murray. Latavius Murray, that is. And he's going to get very close to the sticks. And he goes for the C route and gets the touchdown on me. Fairly easy. Uh, we did bring him down to third down and 19, but was able to overcome that. Get the first down. And then later on in the drive, get the touchdown. So now we're going to go ahead and use Frank Gore, who is just trying to be an absolute beast right now. And break every tackle as he does get near the first down. Next run, we get another big run by Gore. Just not going down, churning. Just keep fighting for those yards. That's why I love Frank Gore. I'm so happy I ended up getting him. Uh, and then we got ourselves Josh Gordon here on the slant. And that's going to bring us to the second quarter. Down 7 nothing, But we're going to try to make our way to the end zone. As we got Des Bryant on the slant this time. Getting us a couple of yards. Second down and one. We got Josh Gordon again on the left side. And he's going to get us the first down. As McNair now in the shotgun on first down and 10. Over to Frank Gore on the screen pass. And he's going to go down here near the 12-yard line. And we're going to give it right back to him. Very short of the sticks there. Third down and two. But McNair is going to go ahead and find a wide open Josh Gordon. And we're going to get down to the two-yard line. So you already know we're just going to go ahead and try to power it through. Giving it up to Hewitt, our fullback. And that's not going to be a touchdown. But next play, Frank Gore on the toss to the right side. And he is going to get into the end zone and get us back. All tied up now, 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's see what my opponent can do before half here. One minute, 49 seconds. He's going to get sacked on the play. It's going to be Aaron Lynch on the sack. Loss of eight on the play. Quick pass over to Latavius Murray, and he's going to break just a couple of tackles, but inevitably go down there. Third down and eight now, and he's going to be in the shotgun looking for something open. And he's going to hit T.Y. Hilton here short of the first down. Fourth down and two now. Five wide receivers set. Right down the middle is going to be one of his receivers there on the catch. Number 17. Not sure who that is, but he does get the first down. And he has 24 seconds and counting here to get into field goal range at least. So 20 seconds, 19 seconds. He's looking, firing over to a wide open receiver. Past the 50-yard line, down to the 40. Getting into field goal range just about one more play and he could get there. Goes for the touchdown. And Sam Shields is going to shut that down now. Eight seconds left. We need to make sure he doesn't get enough yards for a field goal. And, of course, we fail on that, and he gets right where he needs to be. In range for the field goal as he is going to take the lead here going into the half. 10-7, to and let's go ahead and try to get some more points back up on the board. So we got Frank Gore getting absolutely bombarded by defenders there on the first play. Second down to 13 now, McNair on the run. Nothing's open. I don't want to try to throw it, and we end up taking a sack. Should have just thrown it away. Third down and 15 now, and our pass gets batted away, and we're going to have to punt the ball away. So he does take over here at the 48-yard line. Very good field position. Latavius Murray on the run for the first down. He's back in scoring range. We need to get the ball back somehow. Wide open Latavius Murray down the sideline, down to the 24. Again, Latavius Murray, this time up the middle on a run, and he's going to get shut down for only a gain of one. Second down and nine, wide open again. I'm leaving so many holes on my defense right now. We need to lock up. We need to do something here. He does get the first down on the QB sneak, so this is not looking good right now. Latavius Murray again to the right side, and he's going to get shut down for only a gain of two. So second down and eight, and he makes a huge mistake here. He should have just thrown it away, but he's going to try to go for the end zone, and it's going to be intercepted by Sam Shields in the back of the end zone, and we're going to go ahead and take over now. With 39 seconds left in the third, we have to get on the board and we have to put some pressure on him. Or, you know, if we don't get the, if we don't get points on the board right here, we're probably going to end up losing. So let's see what we can do here. McNair on the run. 
down to the 20. Third down and five. Big time play here. We need to get a first down. And Sterling Sharp does just that. Wide open. Taking us to the fourth quarter with a first down. And we're going to go ahead and give it up to Frank Gore with one broken tackle. Boom! Another broken tackle. And Frank Gore is gone. All the way for a touchdown. That was an insane truck stick. I guess you would call it that freaking play. I couldn't believe that he was able to hit him that hard and continue to go. Like, when I did that at first, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. How did I get such a speed boost on that, uh, you know, broken tackle? Like, I, I hit him so hard. I've never seen that in Madden. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just don't play a lot. But I love that animation, that truck stick animation where he just keeps running. That's crazy. But uh, fourth down and seven now, and he's going to find a wide open receiver. But guess what? He ran backwards, and he's not going to get the first down. So the game actually screws him right there. He had the first down. His guy ran back, and Frank Gore is doing it again, busting his way through, breaking tackles, another broken tackle on the play, another one, all the way down to the 11, second down and one. We're going to try to give it to him again, this time on the counter in Wildcat, but that's not going to go through, and we're down to third down and five. Now just give it up to Frank Gore again. Why not? And he's going to be met by two defenders. So I figured, you know what, let's make this interesting. Let's try to go for the first down. Um, it's fourth down and five and wide open. We have two slants in the field. No idea which one to cover. We get the first down. Now let's try to get Frank Gore back into the end zone. Uh, but try to do it conservatively. Don't try to fumble. So again, second down and goal here. Frank Gore breaking another tackle but ends up falling over. Uh, probably a little bit tired. I mean, he's been running like crazy. Um, and we try to find Ladarius Green here in the back of the end zone, but that's not going to be a completion. So we're going to go ahead and kick the field goal and just go up by a touchdown and give him about 54 seconds left on the clock to try to do something. Probably more like 40 some odd seconds, but he's not really able to do anything for the first couple of plays. And this is going to be the last play of the game as he is going to be sacked right there. And we are going to win the game by the final score of 17 to 10. All Frank Gore all day. I mean, he's pretty much the sole reason we won that game, just being absolutely beastly. And then this is the pro pack we ended up opening. So we got Jeremy Lane and just a couple of other stuff in here. But there is one special card that we get, and there it is. It is going to be a 87 overall Brett Kern. So we actually have ourselves an elite punter now for pack and play. Um, I'm not sure how you guys feel about that, but it is an upgrade from what we currently have. And it's going to be Brett Kern. So let's go ahead and open up that Mutthead pack. And like I said, for every new episode, I will have the lineup on the screen before the game. So you guys can see all the new upgrades that we got on the team if we did get one. And if not, if you're just tuning in, you'll be able to see, you know, what we have. So in this Mudhead pack, we didn't get anything at all besides a D'Angelo Williams. I currently do not have a backup halfback. So we can be able to use that card for sure. Um, I'm not really sure how good it is, but it is an 84 overall BCA. And then, of course, we got Cedric Thornton, 82 overall. And that's going to be some sort of solo challenge card that I don't have, so I can't use that. Um, but maybe I have it in my binder. I don't know. That's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.